Hello everybody, it's Stevie Stroh and happy Septandy to you all. What I figured I would show off is the latest version of the Cocoa Pie Project. What the Cocoa Pie Project does is it allows you to emulate a variety of color computers and family of machines on a Raspberry Pi running anything from a Raspberry Pi 3, 4, or 400. What we're looking at here is the actual GUI desktop background of the latest Cocoa Pie project. How do we get the Cocoa Pie? Where do we learn about the Cocoa Pie? I'm glad you asked. We actually have a website. That website is coco-pie.com and this is the home page of the Cocoa Pie project with a little bit of information, right? It uh, allows you to download the image. It tells you a little bit about here. It uh, can emulate color computers using MAME, XROR, and OVCC. This is the home page. If you want to download the image, this is the download link to download the Unified Community Edition. This is a universal image that will run on a Raspberry Pi 3, 4, or 400. It is recommended you extract this to a minimum of a 16 gig SD card. However, I would strongly suggest you get even larger because there's lots of things we can add to this image. Virtual hard drives, immense software libraries, you name it. This is the image file to download and get. These are some burning image tools that you can use to burn your image to the SD card. You can even download some cool wallpapers from here. There will be a series of how-to step-by-step tutorial videos added. These are very concise videos covering one thing. They're very short in length, you know, anywhere from like two to five minutes on average. Going from just downloading and burning the image, <clears throat> resizing the file system, joining your Cocoa Pie to a network, uh, downloading and applying updates. The great thing about this uh, uh, image now and this latest version is that it is being constantly worked on. It's being constantly updated and all of these updates are all pullable through the internet through a downloads menu on the Cocoa Pie utility menu. We, um, so how to set it up and how to get things going. A bunch of videos will be here and will be continuously added. And while the Cocoa Pie project has been around for probably four years now, this is probably the most active. It's been updated and developed in a long time. So as updates are added, they will be posted here to the blog page um, showing you what's going on. And so you can always check here for updates. We're also going to be um, sharing these in the Cocoa-Pie uh, channel on our Cocoa Discord server where you can get near real-time question and answers on the project. So here's a little bit about where to go, how to get it, how to learn, how to use it, etc., etc. What does it look like? Well, when you boot up, you're going to boot up to a desktop GUI like this. We've got a lot of different customizable wallpapers that you can choose to fit your mood. And so we've got all different kinds of um, backgrounds to choose from. And so you can really just set your wallpaper to look however you want it to look. You can customize the fonts. I've got some Cocoa fonts going on here. The old days of the Cocoa Pie looked very much like this, where it booted into a text mode and it had an, a neat little text menu-based system like this. That's what it was. Um, nowadays, we're booting to a desktop GUI, and that text menu has been replaced even now with a graphic menu and a graphic launcher so when we pull up the cocoa pie menu you'll notice here i can emulate a color computer 2 and when we say color computer 2 uh, color computer 1 is assumed color computer 1 and 2 are essentially the same machine we can emulate a color computer 3 and we can also emulate an mc10 micro color computer 10 and we can emulate the dragon family of computers and we can do this by default using MAME or alternatively using XROR as our emulator and there's also experimental support for OVCC the open source version of the virtual color computer emulator however things work best using MAME and XROR right now and so for example if I want to pull up a color computer 2 I would pull up that menu and we see we've got a lot of different options. I can pull up a stock Color Computer 2 with Disk Extended Color Basic. I can get one with a 6309 processor. I can have one with a multi-pack interface in the um, speech sound cartridge, Game Master cartridge. We can boot up HDB DOS, which would allow us to connect to DriveWire. By the way, DriveWire is running on the Cocoa Pie already. Uh, lots of different things. We can download an immense hard drive image that's got over 3,000 disks worth of software to look at. Incredible amount of stuff. So if I just double click Color Computer 2, 
it is going to boot it up in the default emulator of MAME. And here we go. We have the Coco 2. Because we're running in a GUI um, and X Windows is enabled, MAME will be in a window by default. However, you can go full screen in MAME by pressing Alt Enter. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that. But if you wanted to see your Coco and nothing but the Coco, press Alt Enter. You'll be on full screen. You'll see nothing but your glorious green screen background. Now that we're in MAME, how do we load software? Well, this is now understanding how to use MAME. And there is a uh, video on this on the website on how to use the MAME and how to fine tune the user interface. We press Tab to bring up the user interface. I would go down here to File Manager. One of the easiest things to do is to load a cartridge. So if I say I want to load a cartridge and I hit enter, uh, there's a software list built in right now. So if I choose software list and I choose Tandy cartridges, this has all of the various Tandy color computer games on cartridge already. And so, for example, one of the most famous games for the color computer is Dungeons of Dagrath. If I highlight Dagrath and hit enter, that cartridge is going to load. That cartridge is going to boot up. And here we are. We are playing Dungeons of Dagrath on our Cocoa Pie. Not too bad, not too hard to do. So loading cartridges is real easy. Also worth pointing out that this is not meant to be a retro pie. This is not meant to be a joystick driven um, choose a game, press a fire button, launch and play the game. This is more of a Cocoa emulation and it is more of using a color computer as if it was on real hardware. So to get your games you got to load your games just like you did on a real machine. So this emulates the experience of a real color computer. It is not meant to be a quick and easy game loading device. If we want to get out of here, we'll go ahead and press escape. Are you sure you want to exit? I'm going to hit enter. Yes, I do. All right, let me show you how to load software on a color computer too from disk. And this time, instead of using MAME, I'll use XROAR. So we're going to go ahead and pull up a standard color computer too with disk extended color basic. Notice there's lots of other options here, but we'll just pick up this machine right now. And XROAR actually makes it a little bit easier than MAME does. So number one, I can full size this uh, without hitting Alt Enter. And I can also now go to File, Load. And this is where I can load different images. So, um, I want to go into a folder here that's called media share one and then this is a download of the uh, ultimate SDC image that uh, you can pull from the internet through your utilities menu. I'm going to go ahead and pull up games and I'm just going to go to the letter A and in this case here I'm going to use our game on challenge game of the week and I'm going to choose Android attack disk. I'm going to hit open. That disk is now in the drive, and again, this is not like a RetroPie, so you actually have to type in dir to see what's on the disk, get a directory. I have to now load m, the Android uh, attack file, and then I will execute that file. EXEC will execute when it's done. And here we go. I'm going to put in my name, I'm going to put in my skill level and I don't know if it's gonna it actually picked up my joystick by default that's great so I've got a USB Xbox controller plugged into my uh, Cocoa Pie and it automatically found that the neat thing about XROAR it's a little bit more user-friendly um, I can go here and I can say uh, I can swap left and right joysticks I can say my left joystick is connected to which device I can even do keyboard emulation or mouse emulation uh, a lot of cool things there and so um, if if you, on one of those games where it wanted joystick left or joystick right you could just do shift control J and swap joysticks so um, it's actually a little bit easier loading software through XROAR because its um, user interface is slightly less clunky than the B default MAME user interface so you can see here the ability to load software was pretty easy. This software was pulled in from a repository from the Color Computer Archive and that is a downloads menu you can get to from your utilities menu. There's lots of stuff you can do on here. So the Cocoa Pie project 
um, is a great way to emulate a variety of color computers, pretty user friendly. Um, and there's so much going on behind the scenes under the hood. There's more that this project will do than I can talk about in this short video. But hopefully if you're interested in the color computer or the MC10 or the Dragon family of computers, and you're looking for a quick and easy way to emulate those in a very robust environment that's constantly being updated, that has the ability to pull things from the internet. So as the emulators get updated, as XROAR and MAME get updated, those updates are able to be pulled down, uh, installed for you automatically, all menu driven. You don't have to know how to get ROM files to your emulators. You don't have to know how to set up your emulators. It's all menu driven. It's very user friendly. There are a lot of how-to videos on the website, and then there is also the Discord channel where you can chat with us and get some near real-time questions and answers and tech support as needed. So happy Septandy, everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed this quick preview of the Cocoa Pie project. Lots to do with it. Actually, I'm going to show you one more thing, because not only can you emulate the color computer and play existing software um let, let me let me show you a couple more things actually I'm, i i don't want to end this too prematurely how about this boys and girls let's bring up a color computer three and let's show you something uh, a little bit more serious if we will how about we bring up the color computer three uh, with a 6309 processor two megabytes of ram and the nitrous 9 ease of use project let's go ahead and try that one and let's see if this works And look at that. This thing booted up automatically. It is going to boot the latest edition of the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use project. So if you ever wanted to know what OS 9 was like, how to use OS 9, it's here. And it boots up. And this is the latest, greatest version of, of OS 9, which is known as the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use Edition. This is being updated pretty regularly as well by Curtis Boyle and a team of experts, including um, some of the original people who worked on the original Nitrous 9 project. And you also notice that this one also has uh, a real time clock built in. So the date and time was pulled in here. So if you wanted to play with Nitrous 9 and um, all the goodness from there, and you wanted to bring up a, um, you wanted to bring up the Nitrous 9 GUI and um, what the heck, G shell. Did I spell G shell wrong? Yes, I did. Yeah, you can even bring up the GUI and you can load software pretty easily. So um, don't don't let my mouse confuse you here. It's because I'm not running full screen. So yeah, it's got a nice little GUI that lets you pull up software. So we have that going on too. You can not only play games, but you can do serious stuff with the Nitrous 9 operating system. And if that wasn't compelling enough, but wait, there's more. I'm going to show you one more thing. This is a sneak peek at something we're going to be doing a proper intro and how to video on in the near future. But we can also do software development on the Cocoa Pie using a full screen modern editor, kind of like an IDE integrated development environment. And you can write software in a variety of languages from basic to C to assembly. You can write your source code in here and your source code would um, pretty much look like you were typing it in on a color computer. The only difference here is now I can use a mouse, I can highlight, I can full screen edit I can copy and paste and when you're done typing in your source code here guess what you can do you can build it and run it on an emulator you can actually run it in drive wire and um, push it over to a real color computer lots of things we can do here in this case here I'm gonna go ahead and launch a disk into XROAR and we're gonna see what my program looks like here so it's taken my basic program that I wrote it's brought it up into XROAR and then if I type in dir to see what's on my disk, this is the little test program that I just typed in. The source code that I showed you from before, it's here. So if we look at the, um, if we look at the source code over here that was typed in on the editor, that's the same source code that's now showing up in the color computer. And you see, you see how quickly that launched. And then when I hit run to run it, it's actually running the software. So tons of fun 
you can do here with the Cocoa Pride project. You can emulate a ton of different types of color computers. You can uh, write software very easily in a variety of languages and have that kind of cross assembled over to an emulated Cocoa or to DriveR to run on a real Cocoa. Um, lots of fun, lots of cool things to do. The color computer, my favorite computer, uh, is easily emulated on the Cocoa Pie project. This is the latest edition, the Unified Community Edition. It's a single ISO image you can burn to a micro SD card, 16 gigabytes or greater. It will run on a Cocoa Pie, will run on a Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi 400, and it will let you experience color computing in the modern era and Raspberry Pis aren't that expensive. The Raspberry Pi 400 with keyboard, mouse, SD card, power supply, HDMI cable, and a book is about $120. So a very inexpensive way to uh, get a cool little machine to emulate your color computer and just have some cool cocoa goodness at your fingertips for not a lot of money. What's it called? The Cocoa Pi Project. How do you get it? coco-pie.com. This has been OG Stevie Stroh, the original gamer, saying Coco forever, Coco Pie forever, and happy Septandy, everybody.